I'm here with Lower Marion High School basketball coach, Greg Downer, who of course, longtime coach and friend of the late, great Kobe Bryant. Coach, thank you for joining us today. Um, I can't believe it's almost been a year. How about you, uh, when you think back to, to this year and, and the tragedies that happened almost a year ago? Yeah, I mean, tomorrow is January 26th, and that is the milestone one-year uh, anniversary of the tragedy. And, it, you know, it, it is it is hard to believe, uh, but, you know, the, the sadness is kind of with us forever, and tomorrow uh, will not be an easy day here at Aces Nation. Yeah, what has this year been like for you and for the school and for everyone that knew and loved Kobe? Well, when it happened, uh, I call. I said that we just lost the heartbeat of Aces Nation. Uh, that became a, a T-shirt, and you know, I really believe there's some validity to that. We we lost our our heartbeat, and it's been a very difficult year. There's reminders of him everywhere, in the gym and and in the workplace, and uh, combined with the pandemic, it's it's been a very challenging year for for all of us. Yeah, it, it is actually kind of ironic I don't even know how to say it but it almost feels like the world went south the minute we lost Kobe is that I mean I know that's a weird kind of way to put it together but it feels like that yeah 2020 was not a good year at all and uh you know we're, we're hoping for better days in 2021 but I, I look back as do many people at 2020 as just a horrendous year Absolutely. Um, have you been in touch with Vanessa and, and the family and how are they handling things now? I don't have much of a relationship with Vanessa, but uh, I saw the parents and I saw his sisters um, at the funeral and and I was very happy to, to see them and, and get a little bit of closure with them because I was close with the sisters and uh, close with the parents. Um, I understand that, that the sisters are very involved aunts with um, Kobe's other children. And, you know, hopefully uh, they're moving forward kind of a day at a time. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I can't imagine. And I did, I know that Vanessa went on social media and actually talked about not showing scenes of the crash video and all that. And it had to be, I mean, the images and people talk about Kobe all the time. That's probably hurtful reminders or, or is it, nice to see him being talked about and remembered like for you what is it like constantly still hearing his name and seeing his face I mean it's a little bit of a double-edged sword I think there's a there's a healing process for me which which I certainly need to move on but uh you know I will always be linked to him and you know I, I've called him in some ways a hero to me uh I am a a, a, a girl's father you know I'm a, I'm a daddy dad uh, a girl's dad similar to what Kobe is. So I'm trying to explain to my seven-year-old daughter, uh, you know, a little bit more concretely as to who Kobe was. And, you know, one of the, one reporter asked me yesterday what my greatest memory of Kobe was. And I, I said it was um, him meeting my daughter. Um, he met my daughter two or three times. We have a couple of nice photographs of that. And, uh, you know, the answer to your question is it's kind of 50-50 just when you think you're having a good day or whatever, he could he could pop into your head. And uh, it's going to be a long journey, a long healing process, and truthfully, uh, something in your gut that will never go away. But you you try to focus on the good and, and, and hope for better days ahead. What did he teach you that you carry with you today? Uh, an incredible work ethic, uh, an incredible hatred of losing, uh, uh, a no shortcut mindset. Um, you know, some of those things that we try to establish with our current players, you know, shortcuts don't work in athletics. Uh, excuses don't work in athletics. You get what you earn. And uh, he really set a very high bar at Lower Marion. And, and we've tried to maintain the level of that bar ever since he left. Does he, does his memory kind of envelop the campus and specifically the basketball team? I mean, the gym bears his name. You know, I'm, I'm sure you use him as, as a teaching symbol each and every day. Like, how is his legacy still kind of ingrained there at Lower Marion? Well, it's always there. 
you know, we, we have his sweatsuit hanging up in the corner and we reference it before every game. Um, so it's always there. And of course it, it is a gym that he paid for and that he helped establish. And, you know, the legacy is forever. Um, generation, generationally, as time goes on, some of the younger kids don't, don't know him as well as, as the current NBA players, but um, hard work, dedication, results is probably our most famous T-shirt, and and the, that's a slogan that that is directly connected to Kobe Bryant. Hard work, dedication, results. That's what we try to do here at Lower Marion as players and as students. I guess finally, uh, how do you plan on honoring this not this very tragic and somber anniversary? Uh, are you and the school doing anything, and and, and how do you plan on celebrating Kobe on this day tomorrow? That's a good question. I think we have a we have a ball game tomorrow night against the defending champion Haverford High Fords. Um, so in some ways it'll be business as usual. There'll be a 30 th a 33 second moment of silence before the game. Um, so you know how, how tomorrow unfolds uh, I think it'll be similar to what I said when Kobe first passed away. Kobe wants the shoes squeaking in the gym. He wants the aces working hard and uh, he wants a, a no excuse mindset. Let's go out there tomorrow night and, and try to get the win. Thank you so much, coach. I'm sure this is terribly difficult for you. I really, I really appreciate you taking the time. I really do. Thank you. Um, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Finally. I can't believe it. it's been 15 years uh, and I, and we've never met. My, it was my first stop when I, when I landed in Philly, my first day on the job at, at Channel 6, I was driving around trying to find a Starbucks and I pulled over in front of the high school and I called my little brother back home in LA. I'm like, you're not going to believe where I am. He says, Lower Marion <laughs> High School? I said, yeah, Lower Marion High School. Because, you know, we heard it before every game, you know, and, and so, but, but Kobe was very special to me. I have a lot of great memories and luckily some great interviews still on tape, which is, which is awesome. Um, so, yeah. but yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. Have a good day. Hang in there. Okay.